Here's the dual white LED flasher circuit using a 100K ohm resistor, a 60 microfarad capacitor, NPN transistor, a hand wound coil containing two 30 turn coils put together. Um, I put them in opposing directions so we can get the maximum amount of uh, flux and whatnot going on there in the uh, open air coil. There's no toroid or uh, anything in there. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty neat circuit. Uh, it flashes two white LEDs off a 1.5 volt battery, which a 1.5 volt battery can't even light a red LED on its own, pretty much. So, uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, I'm not an electrical engineer, although I'm going to school to be. I am in the very, very beginning, early stages of uh, basic electronics. Um, I'm all self-taught up to this point. I uh, learned everything I know from the internet, trial and error, and uh, there's a lot of great people in on YouTube and forums, uh, Arduino website, uh, Raspberry Pi sites. Um, electronics has a great community of people. Um, the circuit's simple. Many of the circuits I do are pretty simple, like uh, this other LED flasher one. This one is called the Asaki effect, or a uh, um, single transistor oscillator circuit. Uh, this one's pretty simple, almost the same amount of parts as the uh, circuit here, except there is no coil, and this is running off of 12 volts. These are four, three, three volt cell batteries, 2032 cells. Um, this is a pot here, there's a resistor underneath, transistor there, LED cap, and that's it. I did put a power switch on here so I can turn it off and on here like that because on this one that I had done previously, my first one, I just put a set of uh, male header pins here so that I can power it from uh, either a breadboard or uh, some female jumpers. Uh, same circuit as the one here. These are the same exact thing. Uh, this one just has two LEDs, a little tiny red one here and the yellow. And then this potentiometer uh, is much better than this one. I believe the value is lower on this one, or higher, I'm not sure. Either way, this one basically blinks a lot better. Uh, I'll show you right now, I guess, actually. Plugging it in to the headers here. And then I'll hit the power switch, and now we have the flash. So basically, I'll compare the two to show you what the difference is here. And it's all just a potentiometer. Um, this potentiometer, not really sure. Or I don't remember really where I got it from. I think it was from just a, a standard size servo I took the pot out of. Um, and this pot, I know for a fact, came from a 9 gram uh, micro servo. Or, uh, yeah. So it actually gives you much, much better control over the flash rate. Um, as you see there, that's the fastest. And here's the slowest. And then on this one, I'll turn it around so you can actually see the LED better. If you go there, it's all the way down. It's not oscillating. Come up to there which is like three quarters of the whole pot's range it just starts to flash and then it will continue to flash all the way up to the finish it doesn't look like it's flashing there but it actually is oscillating if you watch it it's just about the same frame rate as the camera but you can see that little wave flashing up and down or sorry just upward that is the actual oscillation and I figured out that you can move it around like that and in, a, in person you can actually see 
the LED uh, oscillating when you do that, but it's a lot harder to detect on the camera. Uh, as with most of my videos, they're all shot from the hip. I really don't have a plan what I'm going to talk about or uh, how I'm going to explain things or whatnot. I probably should try and make a lot better quality videos, but this is just a quick, you know, show you guys what I'm up to. Uh, if there's someone out there who's trying to get into electronics or something, as I was about a year and a half ago or a year ago or so, I knew nothing. Um, I really couldn't even, I mean, I could hook up a basic circuit, you know, put power to it like an LED or something, but I didn't know how to control an LED through like a potentiometer or any of that. And as you guys look through my videos, you can see that I've progressed quite a bit. Um, have done quite a lot of Arduino projects. I just really haven't covered them as much on the camera. I did make a four relay video, but that was just terrible. Um, I didn't have my Arduino with me at the time, so I was just basically showing how the relay module worked itself by uh, active low. Uh, which is basically you ground it and it will activate each um, relay. Uh, basically, same thing as the microcontroller. Yeah, there's that video. There's quite a few videos on there of other things. Uh, I'm mainly into engineering. I love electronics. Uh, mechanical engineering is really cool too. Mechatronics is a term I've heard quite a bit. I believe it's the uh, mating of the two fields. Um, Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy projects as much as I do. Um, some of the awesome sites I use to find my projects are uh, pyroelectro.com. There is also talkingelectronics.com. There's uh, electroprojects.com. There's there is quite a few projects um, sites out there. So just type in electronics projects and see what comes up for you guys. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, please hit like if you like this subject material. And um, please subscribe if you haven't. Um, I will try and make better quality videos more in depth about how they work, the circuits. And uh, maybe try and show you guys how to read schematics for the beginners who don't know anything. Electronics is an amazing field. I mean, once you finally see something work for the first time and you get it, it there's no better amazing feeling. Um, it's just something I can't really describe. You have to <laughs> go through it yourself, you know. And uh, I just want to thank you guys yet again uh, for watching my videos and tuning in. And I'll try and make them much better here. And uh, let's take another look at the newest circuit here the air coiled toroid thing and uh, I'll leave you guys with that